It's very simple to watch the Living Faith Network online. Visit watch.ulfn.org. On the page, click on the register option and fill out the on-screen form. You will also be required to confirm your account by email. Next, return to the watch.ulfn.org page. Once you are there, click on the option 24 hour stream. And there you go. Invest in your faith daily with live programs and testimonies that will prove to you that faith in action brings real results. Register today for free. Stay connected as these people are doing. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Universal Church Trinidad and Tobago, and receive the links for our live services every day. Hit the notification bell, like and subscribe to follow us on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. Praise God. So friend, it's now 9.02 and together here on the altar and the pastors also there in their churches we are going to give today the second lap the lap against the problem we are going to do exactly what God told Joshua to do because if this chain of prayer worked for him it will also work for all of us it doesn't matter how big is your problem it doesn't matter how big the situation seems, looks to be to you. The doctors, they have been unable to help you out. The specialists, the medication are not helping you. But my friend, the God that helped Joshua can help you. Pastor Andrew, he says, this is the instruction that God gave to Joshua. He says, and the Lord said to Joshua, chapter 6, verse 2, See, I have given Jericho into your hand, its king, and the mighty men of value. You shall march around the city, all you men of war. All you men of war. You shall go around the city, once this you shall do six days so first god told him that gave into his hands jericho the biggest problem that he was facing after that god told him look you men of war you will march around the city once for the first six days so many people they think that their situation is lost they think that their situation is bad we played yesterday in our meeting in our morning service the testimony of the lady that she left trinidad and she went all the way to america for treatment against cancer but no doctor could help her but when she took a decision to obey the voice of god through the man of god then she saw result with the bottle of water the pastor blessed the water for her and she was healed tomorrow tuesday is the day of healing and people they have to see this wall of sicknesses and diseases falling down yes pastor philip what we can understand here is that god said you men and woman of war so if you obey the same instruction, direction that today, 
you are going to receive you are going to overcome this problem because also you are a man you are a woman of war then this sickness this disease that you have in your body it will fall down and when god says you men of war men and women which means do not give up you have to fight a person have to understand that what kills the person is not the cancer what kills the person is when the person gives up the fight what kills the person is not the sugar diabetes but when the person give up the fight because there is nothing that is impossible to god that's why god was said to them see in other words be courageous to do what's supposed to be done because the victory is sure so we are going to march now we are going to march around here the church the pastors also they are connected and they are going to march as well and you will march in your living room you march in your bedroom wherever you are you are going to have your device with you and let us join faith together because we know that my friend this wall this big problem that you are facing will fall let us march now Lord God here on your altar after the second lap around the walls of Jericho we pray and we ask your father help us help us to knock down the sugar diabetes help us to knock down the AIDS the HIV help us to knock down my Lord this cancer this fibroids this depression this spiritual problem my father help us to knock down this health issue that this person has my lord in the name of your son jesus we pray and we ask you please help us god just like you help joshua and the people when they march around that city six times for the first six days and seven times on the seventh and so we are going to do lord and all we want is to see the biggest problems to see the obstacles to see my father whatever that is preventing the life of this person to go forward to be removed this stone this storming block that keeps my god holding the life of this person back no matter how hard this person has tried to achieve her dreams his dreams but it seems to be impossible it seems that this person is unable there are many people god that they have in mind this evil thought that keeps my lord telling them that they have born to suffer that they have born my god to live where they at that my lord they born poor and they are going to die poor my father take it away remove this obstacle remove my lord the walls that are right in front of this person and it seems too high for this person to climb for this person to knock it down help this person 
cabeça, my Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, Lord. Ah, my dear friend, place your hands on the top of your head and say to yourself, I will not doubt this problem in my life. Say, I will not doubt this sickness. I will not doubt this disease. My God, the name of Jesus, this man, this woman, they will not doubt this problem in their life. My God, the name of Jesus, I pray for this country. I pray for the prime ministers. I pray for the governance. I pray, my God, for everyone, my Lord Jesus Christ, that you have authority in this country, that you may give to them wisdom and knowledge. My Father, in the name of Jesus, I determine the healing of this nation. No more sickness, no more disease in Jesus Christ's name. My God, in the name of your Son, Jesus, your people are blessed. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. My friend, you are blessed. The walls of sicknesses and diseases, they fall. And talking about the walls of sicknesses and diseases, tomorrow is the day of a miracle. Tomorrow we don't pray, tomorrow we prophesy healing. We don't pray, we don't keep my friends singing to expel the sicknesses. No, we command the sickness to get out. We speak to the infirmity you have to move and it has to move. Tomorrow morning, 8.30 in the morning, we are going to be together. And also you are going to be what time? At 1 and especially at 5 p.m. you are watching to this program. You can be with us because for sure you are going to receive your healing. Because my friend, no matter what seems to be beyond limits to you god is going to make it to come my friend to a limit your problems and you will go beyond limit for now we want you to have a very blessed night and we are going to see you tomorrow either 8 30 in the morning 1 p.m 5 p.m especially or in our night prayer tomorrow myself There are the pastors here and the pastors throughout the country. We are going to be marching together with you because the walls, they are going to fall. Have yourself a very blessed night. See you. Perhaps with all the situation the world is facing nowadays, you feel lonely, frustrated, and have no one to talk to. Perhaps you're under quarantine and isolated from loved ones and going to church and speaking to a pastor face to face is no longer an option. Thinking about you, the Universal Church created the online pastor live chat. 24 hours a day, pastors are on standby to listen to you, give a word of faith and pray for you and your family. Completely free and confidential. To access this service, visit ulfn.org slash online pastor when you click on the specific problem or the speak to a pastor button a dialog box will pop up fill in your information agree to the terms and begin chatting immediately you have three options text, voice, and video. Need to speak to a pastor today? Just visit ulfn.org slash online pastor. Available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, free to all.